Hi guys, welcome. So we are in week three, round three in 5v5 GAC, and um, today is going to be an interesting match uh, for a number of reasons. I'm sure you guys have already seen the thumbnail uh, photo. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, Star Killer <laughs> a lot. Um, but yeah, first of all, I'm going up against Cowboy, um, who's a really good player actually um he was in wolfpack um he was actually one of uh, uh wolfpack's leader and uh, i decided to go back to um my old ways set a really heavy defense um so i've set jm ray jmk and margus down front and um up top, um, I've set, um, what was it? Yeah, Slicker, Lord Vader, Qui Gon, and CLS. So that means I only have one GL for offense. Now, his defense is, uh, is really difficult to beat. Um, so up top he has uh, JMK, uh, Mon Mothma, Margus, and Ray. Now again, I only have I only kept one GL for offense. Um, the next thing is down south, which might look easy. Um, Redis, Lord Vader, um, Star Killer, and uh, CLS. So before we jump into the battle. Um, Actually, let's just rewind it back a bit. Um, I'd like to say a few, a few things. Like, first of all, I don't know if you guys uh, noticed it, um, but we actually managed to reach uh, the 1,000 subscribers, and um, I'm feeling a bit emotional about this because uh, it really, really means a lot to me. I'm and, and I'm going to make a separate video about it, as I promised uh, during my last video, because I want to thank a lot of uh, other players, um, because without them, I couldn't be here where I am now. And um, but first of all, I'd like to thank every single one of you who supported me. Uh, since I started this channel, um, like was it all nine and a half, uh, ten months ago, something like that. It's been, it's been great. Um, but I don't want to really go into de uh, into details because this is a GAC video. But so in short, really, uh, I really, really do appreciate every single one of you um, who subscri subscribed uh, to my channel. And please, if you haven't already, please smash that uh, subscribe button. It, it's really free. Um, you just need to click on it, but it really, really help help me um, grow this channel. And it was never really about the uh, money. Um, it was more about to, to get an exposure, like to try to spread my channel. Um, if if you guys new to my channel. If you're only watching this uh, for the first time, um, my main focus is on GAC content. Um, I'm a top 100 play, uh, player in Kyber 1. I've been there for, uh, for almost two months now inside the top 100. Um, so yeah, if if you want to learn about uh, high-end uh, GEC matches, then uh, you're free free. To, uh, Please feel free to subscribe and also there is a link for my description and um, there is a link for my uh, Discord uh, server and for my Twitch channel as well. Sorry, I just woke, just woke up not long ago. So, um, so yeah, um, and also if you have any questions, um, just feel free to ask it uh, under the under this video in the comments. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this uh, match. Because it was for the top 20. So once again I decided to use um, Fennec. It's not like I had any choice really because um, um, I only have one GL left which is C and I needed um, 
needed him against uh, JMK. So I have the BAM cooldown reset datacron on and um, yeah obviously the plan is to always keep uh, the DI on Fennec because she needs to stay alive. Now Sion is good for a number of reasons. One that he can use his middle and uh, give the tenacity up to Fennec and the rest of the team but that will boost Fennec's uh, damage and the other reason uh, which is why he's good is his basic uh, hits four times so he can actually do some uh, damage now I'm having these problems lately like I cannot for the life of me I, I don't understand why is that but I cannot kill Darth Vader with Fennex kick which is um, my Fennex by the way has like a 13.3k um, special offense but it looks like all this uh, extra resistance is just making things a lot harder so Maul is about to die he's in red um, Lord Vader is in his ultimate we lost Sion and now Maul decided to go all in on Fennec and with that once again it's a loss while it may look easy um, I cannot really do it this um, this is the fourth or fifth time it failed um, this season it's re it really is annoying um, so next up I then against the decked out um, uh, CLS team like if you guys watched uh, my previous video it failed then um, and once again we are not looking good um, I already lost who was it Stark yeah it was Stark so I don't want to use any AOEs because um, if I get countered then then we die and we don't have uh, Iden's um, savior on us so two down really annoying I was like I need to go for it I had to push back the turn meter that's why I decided to use um, his AOE uh, Death Trooper was able to put apply the death mark on Han now Hans, Han died um, so I feel confident using the AOE now especially because uh, 3 pack uh, was stunned so he died as well now it's just 3 on 1 but CLS is still beast um, and he just keep going and going and going finally I apply days on him and stun Thanks to Death Trooper. And luckily it was a win. But it was really, really messy. Okay, so next up is Orly, the Bounty Hunters. Against Redis. You, you need to use a um, plus 25% turn meter uh, Datacron. Just because um, they have the data crown as well and also um, thanks to Zam and the plus 25% uh, extra terminator grief can go first and you need to stay ahead of them because otherwise they can stream roll you um, and obviously once the contract uh, triggered you want to take out Redis and after that Jin next because even though um, Radis won't be able to come back, but if you keep going after the others, Jin can still bring them back. So next up is Cassium. But I just realized that K2 is here and I think whenever you damage Cassian he taunts, so Luckily the um, Mandos Annihilate were triggered so I was able to take out Cassian and now I just need to clean up K2. 
Now, this battle. I'm sure many of you will uh, look, look for this battle first because this will probably be on the thumbnail. Um, so first of all, welcome if you are here. Um, and please subscribe. Um, so, GG versus Starkiller. There's nothing new to this, right? We all know that this is an RNG battle. So far, everything's going good. I applied an extra, I used an extra the potency data chrome just to ensure that I can uh, apply target locks. And so far, everything is looking fine. Mm, nothing special, right? So I wanted to go after uh, Visas first. Um, then increase cooldown on Mara. And I was like, okay, so Mara is looking really um, low on health, but Visas has, like, you need to make sure, hang on, actually, let's just pause it for a second. So, okay, so the only way Visas can uh, revive somebody if she has full health, that's the only way. She needs to have full health. So, I killed Mara. All good, right? So now I wanted to slow down uh, Star Killer. Thing is, now I stuck behind GK. And Visa still don't have. Now she has max health. Which is a problem, because um, I need. B2 needs to go. Like, Visa st is still going, looking good. Starkiller only has 55 stacks. So I st stuck behind GK, that's fine. I even applied target lock. <coughs> no died. I'm going after uh, Starkiller because he had the target lock. He has 60 stacks, getting really closer to the 100. Uh, and now, Visas brought back um, Mara for some reason. But, look at that. Okay, so, he went into ultimate. Check this out. Everybody's went full health and protection, and Visas next turn was the revive, and because GG was able to st survive the ultimate, he stayed alive, Visas used his special, Mara came back, and after GG died, it's a whole uh, preloaded um, battle. So I was like, okay, well, I'm much calmer about it because it was already a couple of days ago. But um, I, as I always say, if you guys want to see the unfiltered um, battle, check out my uh, Twitch. Um, channel that's where I'm recording all my battles live um, it's a, a lot more graphic some might say it's a lot more interesting content than what I'm doing here now but unfortunately uh, YouTube is is not the platform <laughs> um, to do things like this because um, they just ban, ban me probably but anyway moving on so that was a fail um, so I needed to find a way to uh, clean up this Lord Vader team. Um, so I was like, troopers won't be able to do it because Maul and Royal Guard were still alive. So the next best thing to do is to send in Treya and uh, try to take out Maul and Royal Guard. And after that, um, troopers should be able to handle it. Mm. So, yeah. As long as Nihilus stays alive, we should be golden. And after that I just need to let it time out. Because I, I cannot do nothing against Lord Vader. A few moments later. So, yeah. I let it time out. Um, now... Um, I cut it out from the video, but I sent in a couple of burner teams um, just to make sure that the cooldown is right. But even then, um, 
I was debating to use either a healer, uh, either Shakti or Shirut, um, just for the uh, cleanse. And you guys can see it, why. So, w while we have dots on us, um, we cannot gain bonus turn meta, um, which is obviously annoying because you want to stay ahead of Lord Raider. So I was like here, I was waiting on Twitch um, for a while. I was like, should I time out or just wait for the very last minute um, until uh, to do my attack, um, you know, because I had 14 stacks on me. I used a really high uh, physical damage datacron, um, but I wasn't sure if this is enough or not. So I was just kept waiting and that's... Eventually I'm going to make a move, um, just because um, it's... <laughs> You sort of have to un understand my uh, the my mindset. How was it when I was recording? I was I was really annoyed at this point. Um, to be honest with you guys, like I'm sure a lot of you who were on my stream or you guys are who are watching my videos on YouTube, all the highlights, um, you know what I'm talking about, like during this final week when I had the chance to go up again, uh, climb up into the top 10, like I had the chance to go in, move up into the top 10, if I go 3 and 0. I had no luck, like nothing whatsoever, nothing was going to give my way. Um, and that's not giving away the final result of this match, um, I'm just talking away um, in general. Like oh, so I I accept that that um, at my level, inside the top fifty, every everybody has uh, decked out relic level teams. Like I'm going up against almost every single round against uh, ten point five plus mil million GP players or even eleven million plus GP players. So I get that, but and I can beat them, but I just need. Sometimes you just need the luck. That that's it. You need to be lucky if you want to win. And I just don't get get that kind of luck. Um, especially not on ships. Like so. Yeah, I decided to go for it, and it worked out. Next up, and this is it. After debating uh, f uh, for a long time, I even sent in Wampa, uh, who got destroyed. Um, I was like, my only chance to open the back back wall is um, C, using C. That's it. Um, I had no other choice. Fun fact: I I wanted to use the tw uh, twenty plus twenty percent uh, R charge per sit ally. And uh, I realized that I already used a datacron on a, on another team. So um, this datacron it only has like the plus five percent uh, health and protection uh, per uh, relic level. So I had to do this the long way. Put the weapon, t um, the tank, tank tech on uh, C, and then. Just play the long, uh, long game. Link uh, Mara and Star Killer because they move a lot thanks to the Palpatine Terminator train. So we reach the ultimate, but. Everybody's stunned.
And yeah, stalk your rich is ultimate. And I was like, can I take a turn? Finally. Because <laughs> they had just keep going and going and going and my C still hasn't taken a turn. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Finally. So Mara and Starkiller is gone. Now I just need to clean up the rest. I was like, nope, I'm not even going to link. Why is that? It's, it, it's there's no point. And yeah, and with that, I was able to open the back zone. So it wasn't pretty. And he had no GRs at the back, so which means he kept three GRs for offense. So I started to work up top um, using bad batch with Shakti against Mon Mothma. This is a really easy battle, there's nothing to it. Shakti gains a tons of turn meter, and uh, that's it, really. And after, ba after that, Bad Batch can just finish the fight with uh, true damage, with their uh, true damage. Next up is Redders versus uh, Gear 11 Sortie. Like in my mind, I know. A lot of you are using Redis on defense, but I like to keep him for offense. And uh, I had the level 6 repost ability, and also I left uh, Pathfinder on the bench and I brought Cassian in because last round I timed out against L3. That was really embarrassing. Um, so I felt like I needed more um, DPS. Um, yeah. But even then, look at that. Like, that's a gear 11 team. Um, and the problem with L3 being here, once he, she reaches her uh, three stacks, um, um, or his third level, whatever it's called, um, she she can cleanse. You you cannot land any stun any debuff on her because she just I immediately cleanses. But finally, with uh, Redis's ultimate, uh, I deleted her, and now it's just all about cleaning it up. And that's it, 65. Next up is... At this point I was like, I can probably overkill this. Because um, my only hope was that uh, my defense gets a hold. Um, that's about it, really. I'm really going to miss um, the season one Inquisitor data crowns because I have a feeling without that um, these guys are going to be useless. Next up is Nine Sisters versus this. First order team. Um, it's without the first order Omicron uh, die. So I know it's not going to be like an easy 
Yeah, it's not the, not that's not not the right word. Like it's not going to be a high banner win, mm. but I was like, I can probably win with the with the sisters, and then that will leaves me with a couple of stronger teams to to maybe try uh, try to take out um, or clean up some of the teams up top. So that's done and now as I said I only have one GL so I had to try to use um, gas versus um, ray so the idea is was trying to snipe out ray as fast as possible um, Unfortunately, I stuck on hold though. Um, it wasn't enough. Um, I needed a bit more damage to kill Finn and Poe as well. That would help really get. Uh, it would have been a lot more better. Um, so now, finally, I, I was able to stand up. Um, I triggered the DI on Ray. I just tried to go after Poe, I killed Poe, um, I was getting really close to take out Finn as well, but Ray just reached her ultimate, and all those um, um, taunts are just holding me back, it's not one, it's a double ten, uh, taunt, so I display, uh, dispelled one, Unfortunately, gas sit down. Um, I needed, I needed really a yeah, and there goes the whirlwind. I needed just one more turn from the clones so gas could stand up. was getting really close killing Finn but that ultimate that ultimate is just so annoying and now once again I stuck behind the double taunt <laughs> and she went into ultimate and we all know how this is going to end guess alone with the plus 25 75% alt later crown no chance <laughs> nothing whatsoever um, I tried a couple of things um, I was like let's give it a shot uh, with Mon Mothma as well I left it in the in the video um, with Wedge because with Wedge here you can deal a lot more damage Obviously, you need uh, Mon Mothma's tank. So, yeah, Mon Mothma needs to take a turn. Because then you can dispel things. But now, she's about to reach her ultimate. She needed to take a turn before she goes into the ultimate. Now it's just about, you know, I removed the inspire, that's all good and everything, but now it's just going to be a timeout or um was like, I, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> it, it, it's just so stupid. Um, it just bring me the back the memories by how I felt on Monday live on stream. Um, Defeated really. Um, 
data crowns. <laughs> I'm really not a big fan of them. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, I know CG is making a lot of money of it. I think what they made like nine million, uh, nine million um, last month, something like that. So yeah, I'm sure they're really happy about it. Okay, so next up, now you guys are going to love this. Um, if you felt like that I was unlucky so far, then you had no idea. Mm. So keep an eye on uh, Star Killer. Obviously, this is this isn't like at the very top level. This is isn't a hundred percent. Um, counter anything can happen um, but once you reach your ultimate with star killer at the very least you can snipe out one two sometimes even three of these guys so look at that 74 stacks right everybody's still alive okay now we lost pa palpatine star killer is still looking good visa is not so much but look at that 98 98 stacks and goodbye Starkiller <laughs> just, it's just so fun uh, there's nothing you can say about this so, okay um, so I ended up uh, cutting out my other tries it was useless it was basically me raging on stream if you guys want to see that video then um, there is a link in the description of this video for my Twitch channel um, you can always look back my four streams it's normally anything between two and three hours un unedited um, this is just the highlight so that was the this is the final result um, there's no surprise in this like uh, he was able to beat uh, beat me after what happened with me I'm not surprised um, so yeah he had to two shot GML my Margus managed to get a hold but he, he didn't really need to deal with that he tried the bounty hunters against my Lord Vader but um, he failed then he had enough GRs to clean it up and um, he wants the chips so that's that really um, this was my back wall um, I'll just show you guys so yeah that was the end of the 5v5 season um i think i finished with with a five and four rec uh, record um and uh by depending on i don't know because that's cg's changed that as well it's just so annoying um you you don't know your final standing until you signed up for the next season which is still a couple of days away but um I think I'm still going to be around the 50, top 50. Maybe inside the top 50. If if not, it's probably inside the top 60. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, 3v3. <laughs> I really don't like it. Obviously, I'm going to try to do my best. Um, I guess I'm going to see you guys then. Um, in the meantime, once again, I'd just like to thank every single one of you for your support. And... The, for those of you who just uh, checking the final result uh, um, section of this video <clears throat> I'd just like to say again that I managed to reach the 1000 subscribers on YouTube and for that I really really thankful and uh, thank you for every single one of you once again and if you have any questions uh, please uh, comment down below smash that like button it really help us uh, grow the channel um, I think so far the max likes I have was around 55. Um, let's let's try to reach 100. Um, let's see if it happens, and uh, I will give you guys a feedback if it helped and how was the exposure on the internet. So yeah, thanks again for um, uh, watching these videos, and um, I'm really I'm just uh, living my dream. Th this was never about money. Um, I just I'm just trying to help you guys um, with get counters and also in a from my perspective it it really helps me as well um,
coping with a couple of things in what's happening with me in in my real life and it, this channel really kept me going um during the nine months since i started um yeah without going into more details but yeah you go, uh, like yeah so this channel means a lot more than you guys might think um so yeah thank you for for your support and i see you guys next time bye